We're back, people, and today we're bringing on film on Eric All, Iowa tight end. Big, big fan of his in this class. I think, you know, if you're looking for a sleeper tight end to take a little bit later on, because his projection is kind of all over the place because he has he's coming off the ACL injury, has some injury history in college. But to me, like, he's one of the more well-balanced tight end prospects. There's not too many guys who I think are to his level as, like, a route runner receiving type guy that can also get out there and at least do a decent job in the blocking game. Really nice, quick twitch athlete. You can see the route running prowess. Just on this play alone, uh, he has the versatility to play in line. He'd be your Y, your F, your H tight end. You get him out in the slot, beating DBs, getting him to open up his hips. Look at him attack this outside leverage hard. Uh, good body, you know, language there. Really, you know, getting his pad level down, selling like he's going to work vertically, which gets this DB to open up his hips, and then boom, change directions, get that inside pad very smooth. Very good athlete. He's got some good ability after the catch, too. Uh, falls forward, can fight for extra yards. He's a tough player. I think, you know, overall as a run blocker, if he's like base blocking, I would like to see him, you know, uh, sustain and do a better job on those types of runs. But if you get him on the move, um, also, you know, on some outside zone, maybe him cutting off people, he does a better job in those areas. Uh, makes also some nice plays at the catch point down the field. Really, the injury history is probably the biggest thing for him that's going to hold him back a little bit in the draft. But if there was a tight end I was going to take a chance on after like the top guys, like the top three, uh, Eric All would definitely be the direction I go for in this draft class because he has a lot of things to life and you know he played at Iowa uh, the last past couple of years and then uh, started his career at Michigan before transferring so like two pretty good tight end schools have a pretty good success rate um, in the NFL here you can see the yak ability of them throwing like screens out on the you know the perimeter like getting him the ball out in space making guys miss get skinny uh, break a tackle square people up fall forward use a stiff arm fight into the end zone, get face masked, all the things that you want to see. So, you know, you can get him um, out in the slot and have him just, you know, running routes. You can get him the ball on design plays like this and let him go to work. feel like, you know, he brings a lot of things to the table in those areas. That's another reason I really like Eric All. Here you to see him, you know, in line, uh, cutting off Chop Robinson, which is impressive. You know, Chop has a natural inside leverage on All here. And, you know, he's able to shoot up field and, you know, get into the backfield a little bit, but that's fine. You're just about leverage and positioning. Like, all it's not going to go out there and, like, move people straight up base block. But if he, you know, gets in a position like this where he has to cut someone off, he has the athleticism, understands, like, leverage positioning. Get your hat across here and now cut him off with your hips. That's all you're really looking for in these types of situations. Wouldn't say he's, like, a great blocker, but he definitely can get the job done uh, in those situations. Or if he's being, like, you know, an, an H kind of guy who's off ball at times like this, he can also do some blocking across the line of scrimmage. This scenario, you know, he's getting the ball out in space, get him down the ball down the flat, and you can see he's got some good speed to him as well. He definitely moves um, faster than you would think overall. Good burst to his game. But yeah, I like seeing him go to work after the catch. He can do it in different ways. You know, if he's got space to work with, he has the speed to gain extra yards. And then uh, once he carries that momentum, he can even fall forward and, you know, maybe break some tackles. And then we saw, the, you know, the screen where he was able to really make guys miss in tight spaces, use stiff arm, uh, combine those things. And then, yeah, just slot. The ability to run routes very smoothly from the slot. I feel like he shows really high route running potential. Like, there's certain plays where he gets out there and gets, like, his one-on-one -on -one looks. Where he just gets in and out of his breaks so quickly. And, like, you don't see that kind of quick twitch from tight ends. It was we really showcased on the first play. There's other plays that he did it well. This is just very smooth. Uh, you know, running these in-breakers. Quick footwork. Um, boom, waste no time. Catch the ball. Really like him in those areas where, you know, you use put him out. Put him out on the slot and third down and let him go to work. I feel like Eric All can easily find a role at the next level. And to me, he's one of those guys who can, uh, has, there's not, not a lot, this tight end class isn't like great or anything, but if, uh, for me, Eric All is one of the few guys that I think has like pretty good starter level potential uh, down the field. He can also push the seam like this. Good mover in these scenarios too. He can push the seam here. He gets, you know, um, he's aligned tight to the, to the line of scrimmage here. Uh, slightly off the ball, but you get him off the ball right here. Take like a little bit of an arc release. You can just see the movement skills uh, with that arc release, getting people to widen right here. Uh, gets this guy to widen just enough, and then boom, uh, get back work on the seam. Snap your head around, find the ball, attack the ball up at its highest point. Good hands, uh, overall solid hands as well. Uh, these are the things that you like to see. Oh, um, nice little, little little play here where he's uh, late releasing, check release from the line of scrimmage another area where he can get you know go to work and it's a third and nine and he makes a guy miss fall forward breaks some tackles takes multiple people to get him down this is stuff you want to see from a tight end you know sometimes 
you're gonna get these ball and you if you want to see a guy personally i think yak is very important at the tight end position um i feel like you know guys that only really push the seam are uh really are hard to translate to the next level when they that's really all they bring to the table you can really just use a bigger slot receiver if that's really what you want you want guys who uh can make people miss but also break tackles give you something in the running game i just feel like eric all is pretty well rounded in those areas and this is a big time play to just make the guy miss uh, understanding angles boom quick little step there and then just get upfield knows where the first down is fight for those extra yards don't go down super easily which is really really nice you can do some work like i seen him line up as like in the in the backfield it's like a fullback h back he can definitely play in the smaller tight end role if needed and then just leaking out of the backfield on like a wheel and uh he definitely has that vertical presence that you need to to his game you know you see him running his routes working the short to intermediate getting him the ball on the screen uh and then you see him attack the seam but yeah he can get down the field and go to work he's got that speed he tracks the ball pretty well here uh doesn't slow down at all which is really nice see him track this ball all the way in doesn't slow down to maintain through the catch point which shows me that he's very comfortable catching the ball down the field uh usually when guys have to like slow down or you know they unnecessarily jump at the catch point when they don't need to shows guys that aren't as comfortable tracking the football but eric hall tracks it in very very nicely that's the t type of stuff that you like to see for sure another example of eric hall in the backfield you know leaking out this time down in the red zone and making a tough catch contested catch and a very impressive catch one hand snag uh so we've seen you know because on all these other ones he's kind of created separation uh versus man or you know he was in a soft spot versus zone making plays down the field nothing like super contested this one you know it's just the guys on him all the way use your body to shield this guy off basically become a basketball player down in the red zone and then you know snag the ball with one hand that's another area where tight ends need to you know find success at the next level it's an area where they're relied on is down in the red zone to make some tough catches and Eric All shows an example of doing that. I just feel like he's really well-rounded to his game. Like, I would like for him to be, you know, an even better blocker. But compared to this class, he's pr probably still one of the better blockers in this class. Uh, I still think, you know, he has a lot to work on in those areas. But when you combine, like, his receiving ability in all facets as a, as a receiver, you know, route running, plays at the catch point, working, you know, down the field as a vertical threat, you know, yards after catch. I feel like, you know, he brings so much to this area. You know, here we get to see him uh, work the seam again. Uh, speed you know kind of you know gets slowed down a little bit here but you can just see him work so much faster from that slow pace off the line and then just get down there so fast he is moving i feel like his straight line burst is really good look at him just burst past this db24 who gets caught lacking a little bit because all is kind of gliding and then boom blows right past him snap your head around once you get around and then you take a good angle to split the deep safety and the deep third corner and it's just eric all really really impressed with him in a lot of those areas he can do a lot of his work in line like i know some of the a lot of the work earlier on was from him working the slot but no he can definitely be an inline receiving threat if needed and come down and block too uh just a nice little route here double move i love that he's gives you a little something here shows with his eyes and shoulders to this side get the dv to bite and then break over back to the top and then you know he has to make a tough catch down the field in double coverage go up attack the ball at its highest point floating in the air great body control great job going up and getting that that is super impressive i like eric all is so good like there's not many titans in this class that i really really like obviously bowers is at the top and after that i'm a big ben Sinnott guy and i really think like after that you know you have your jatavion sanders who i who i like as well but i could see eric all end up even you know if he stays healthy even being you know better than uh within like a sanders type even Sinnott maybe because he has a lot of skill and then we'll end it up here, you know, with another block. These are other types of blocks. I feel like you can trust him on, uh, you know, when uh, like split zone, sift, when he has to work across the line of scrimmage in the backfield. I feel like he takes pretty good angles. He's willing, you know, drop his shoulders into guys. Not going to create a ton of movement, but he's willing to get physical. And he's a, a better blocker on the move like this, I think, than, you know, just straight up base blocking, uh, squaring people up. I feel like he can struggle to sort of latch and sustain those at times. But yeah, lots to like with Eric All's game. All around player route runner you can see him just you know mixing it up getting twitch getting in and out of his breaks so smoothly I feel like uh he's one of the best in the class at that specifically and i'm a big fan of players like that and i feel like his skill set just translates really well and you know iowa tight ends they have a really uh good track record of translating the next level so if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to like comment subscribe and see you next time.